Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, light workers, and way shores. Today is 5172019, May 17th, 2019. The waves are coming in fully now the pink waves, the pink rays, the violet rays, the blue, and the gold. The gold wave, the gold rays are coming in fully now. Last night, at sunset, this golden light came through the windows, and I stepped outside, and many clouds looked like ships. These beautiful white birds, like pigeons, were dive-bombing in the light. They were flying at these super speeds, like 50 miles an hour diving and spinning and flipping through the light. It was really quite a sight to see. My neighbor, who's from the Middle East, from Jordan, and he's lived in Egypt, and he's a hilarious guy. We have a lot of laughs. He's a clown just like me, from different cultures. But he raises the pigeons, they're like homing pigeons, and there's ones with these big furry feet, and his yard is like the Garden of Eden. The guy has so many plants and flowers, and then I looked out at my garden, and these beautiful purples and blues and pinks, so vibrant, it just made me think of the new earth. And these beautiful colors coming in, the rainbow waves. Yes, my friend. Messenger, the winged messenger, just came to the window. So this weekend, again, the plasma waves are going to be coming in fully from the central sun through Saturn, through the moon, and through Helios, the sun. Sol, the divine feminine energies are coming in fully now. Divine feminine and divine masculine are dancing the dance of unity, love and truth. Today I have several transmissions from the Divine Feminine Teachers, Aluna Ash, Terry Wade, and Amanda Lawrence. It's all about these waves, these vibrations coming in, these energies, what we call ascension energies. We're all feeling it in our own way. Our avatars are taking in the codes. Many codes are coming in. Consciousness is coming in. The information is penetrating into the field. Opening up to all timelines. Merging all timelines. We're definitely living in some interesting times. Many people are ve feeling very spatial now because we're transitioning from the program of linear time to more of a feminine spatial. It's going to be a balance between linear and spatial until we fully transition to 5D and New Earth. It is up to us to manifest what it is we want to see on the new earth directly from our heart center the still white magnetic light at the center of our being and a major portal in the full moon this weekend on the 18th and 19th the full moon in Scorpio so many people including myself are feeling 
these expansions in the root chakra, in the red, the red of Scorpio, Scorpion, the fire, you may feel it at the base of your spine, I was feeling the frequencies and energies coming in, you know, in the root, where the kundalini, the serpent, the coiled serpent, rests, resides, as that energy rises up the spine, and follows the microcosmic orbit, which is really through, through the inside of your avatar, you know, from back, up the back, down the front, in this cosmic, they call it microcosmic orbit, you can look that up, on Google or YouTube, there's a lot of articles and videos about the microcosmic orbit. It's, it's a common practice in uh, Taoist, Taoist practices of circulating chi through your avatar, through your space suit, we may call it. One Zen master used to call it the bag of bones, <laughs> the skin bag. Sometimes I call it the temple, because we sh it is a temple, it's a sacred temple, it's sacred geometry, and it's a transmitter, manifester, capacitor. It stores energy, stores chi, and it transmits energy, transmits chi. It's an amazing tool when you use it to its full potential. So the first transmission today is from a Luna Ash energy update. This is from yesterday. Galactic portal activation, huge collective shifts. The shifts we are moving into seem like a rapid unfolding of karma that has been blocked from our awareness as a collective along with a rapid evolution and shift in perception. The karma I'm speaking about is collective through leaders, government, structures, power games. The U.S. seems to have some power struggles or power shifts coming. The realms are coming together. The images I've been getting are so vivid. Many are shifting, activating to a new level of awareness. I keep seeing what looks like asteroids, creating this massive shift in our energy and consciousness. It is the most positive experience I've had with a vision. A lot of what's happening is at different dimensional levels, so the experience has become fragmented, and there's memories that can come up in dream state or through the intuition, through the unconscious. This has everything to do with the end of this galactic year that we're getting closer to, and the shift into the balance of the feminine energy, which is healing the phantom limb syndrome connected to the planet, and aspects of ourselves that have been used for time, space, portal, manipulation. There are a lot of different sensations that can take place with the body as things are balancing out for this next collective activation within different groups. This one is a big deal. I've been speaking about this for over the last year consistently, and it's getting closer, galactic shift. And for many, they're going through the prelude of this shift that's about to take place now, and they're having experiences that are showing them that this is coming. With these cosmic rays coming in and the planet's frequency shifts, it's important to stay grounded and balanced, take care of yourself, Listen to your body, rest when needed, and ask for guidance from within. When it comes to any issues that come up, now is a perfect time to get answers. Make sure to sleep when your body is guided. You too, this is how we integrate information coming in and how we heal. Pay attention to gas-looking rainbow-colored clouds near the sun. And that is from Aluna Ash. And again, more information about the timelines merging, these energy shifts, and the cosmic rays, the cosmic waves coming in. And again, it's very important to rest, 
to stay grounded. You can stand barefoot on the earth, in the grass or the dirt, or moss. I always like to stand on the soft moss. To me, that's one of the most grounding. And, and Thich Nhat Hanh teaches to walk as if your feet are kissing the earth. That's in full awareness. We used to do this practice in the temple, the Zen temple, that called Kin Hin, where you put your hand, like holding a sword, in front of the middle Dantian, one hand in the fist and the other, the right hand in the fist, the left covering that fist as if you're holding a sword against your chest, and walk with your focus looking out, not focusing on anything, and being aware of every step you take. We would walk in circles around the inside of the temple. It was Kin Hin is walking, walking meditation, which is very powerful. You can walk through nature like that. Your eyes just gaze out fully in full perspective without putting your awareness into anything external. Your full awareness is in your hands and your heart center. And you just walk and breathe, be aware of your breath, and be aware of your feet lightly touching the earth as you're gliding upon the earth, upon Gaia, the body of Gaia, as your energies merge, as they come together. There's also, Don Juan would teach Carlos, Carlos Castaneda, he spoke of in his book, The Shamanic Walk, where you put your hands into like a claw shape and you walk with your attention out in the open with like an open gaze without focusing on anything and that opens that brings you into the stillness as you as that brings the internal and the external together that's merging heaven and earth and it's a very powerful technique it can open up uh, the pineal gland and open up the crown so with these energies too like right now I'm feeling the crown expansion and the crystal palace in the brain expanding. It sometimes feels like the crown of the skull, that soft spot when you're a baby, it might feel like it's lifting up to the heavens or it might feel like something is sticking, like a knife is sticking down in there or a you know, a pin, like a pin might be in there, or it might feel pressure inside the skull as the, as the brain expands, as the pineal gland expands and resonates at a higher frequency. You might feel it like a pressure or a headache. These energies are very intense, very intense. So try to keep your awareness in the heart center. Keep breathing deeply. Breathing deeply. And smile, smile, smile. Ground, ground, ground. As we lift up. As we ground deep into the earth. So this next transmission from Terry Wade. The coming vibrational revolution. If you want to find the secret to the universe, think energy, frequency, and vibration. That's a quote from Tesla, Nikola Tesla. The law of vibration means all the energy in the universe vibrates at a certain frequency, so it's always in a constant state of motion, which can never be destroyed, only transformed. So this means everything that vibrates at a certain frequency is going to attract that certain frequency. The law of attraction, meaning you create your own reality with your vibrational frequency, you get back what you put out. And a side note from myself, my Sifu always says there has to be an exchange of energy to be sustainable. Energy has to be exchanged on some level with every interaction. Our society has been affected by a parasitical virus, one that has negatively affected our consciousness. 
Humanity is being negatively pulled away from the natural state of being through our consciousness and attracting us to an unnatural vibration that replicates itself towards its own self-destruction. Are you seeing this yet? This comes from the top-down control of the vibrational energy field of our planet. There is a central frequency that has been given out to humanity on this planet, and if you deviate from that central frequency, you are ridiculed, left out, and looked at as, a, as strange, and that's the whole intention of this matrix. This is what they're trying to do with the internet censorship, meaning corral mankind into this one central frequency. It's called mass programming. But many of us are waking up and tuning back to our core frequency, realizing this has all been an illusion. We're growing through a deprogramming. Pretty wild, huh? We're making that shift from fear to love and returning to a healthy state. So what this revolution really means is humanity needs to tune out of this low-frequency system of fear because our society has been set up in order for you to exist. You have to participate in this certain frequency. Humanity is going to have to rebuild our planetary frequency instead of trying to change the old one. That's not going to work. Out with the old, in with the new. Tear it all down. This is what's happening right now. Humanity needs to take direct ownership over their energetic attraction so we don't keep feeding this parasite. This is called the law of or resonance. We directly affect what reality we attract. We also call this the law of one. The golden law. The rise and fall of the universe. The beat of the heart always follows this one law. It's the frequency, the resonance of the bass tone of the universe, of consciousness. Everything follows this law. So this last transmission from Amanda Lawrence, merging with incoming waves, contributing writer for N5D.com. During the now moments of any incoming wave, it's ultimately of benefit to be in presence with the incoming wave. Or the incoming energy. As opposed to participating, being in distraction with the illusion via thought, word, or an action. Presence could be lying down, sitting, meditation, Without mantra or thought, or most beneficial, to stand, eyes closed, and allow the incoming energy to move your body. Relaxed state is key. Letting go of thought is key. Releasing the mind's control over your body that is controlling your body to be in a certain stance. Relaxing your head completely. When the head and the mind is totally relaxed, so follows the body in being relaxed. So that your vessel and muscles are completely relaxed. Then just allow, with practice, with your saying yes, your will, to conscious participation, the incoming wave will move your head and body to the be consciously at one with the energy being gifted, the body on the outside and also on the inside moving to the exact same wave patterns being received by our sun, being present with an incoming wave, being with it, in those moments leads to an experience of amplification of the incoming energy physically felt within your human vessel. This leads to an increase in your physical sensitivity towards energy, which in turn, over practice and time, leads to an increase in the human ability to interact consciously, responsibly with energy. Interacting with energy to, due to human physical sensitivity and conscious awareness is already here and amplifying as we go. It will evolve within humanity to human abilities that will benefit the whole as humans continue to evolve from human to human, light activated. The new human has a consciously aware, unified, energetic ability that utilizes utilizes their skill with wisdom and bigger picture awareness aligned and connected to the divine will one love amanda lawrence 
So I'm Paul from PrimeDisclosure.com. Thank you for joining me here today and connecting. Once Shaman taught, I believe, in the Four Winds by Alberto Villaldo, or Vallaldo. Sure, I'm not pronouncing that exactly right. He trained with, I believe, a Mayan shaman in South or Central America. It's been years. I read that book about 25 years ago. So it's not... It's a distant memory, but there's things that I will never forget about that book. It was uh, pivotal as I was learning the shamanic ways. Not that I call myself a shaman or master or anything like that. I'm just a simple human living as best as I can from the heart center. In that neutral state, that equal state, where nothing is greater than or less than that still center or our pure awareness. We are all in that even, that middle the, the now, the presence. The ego wants to pull us into either self-importance, where you feel better than others, or self-pity, where you feel less than. But the equal is the middle. It's the middle path. It's the true ego, the true self, beyond that false self, or the negative self. So he... The shaman would teach Alberto that we are, and this was, I think, back in the 80s, that we are going through a massive transition, which we all know now. Back then, many people, most people did never even heard of it. You know, when the har harmonic convergence happened, it started waking many people up. I believe that was like 85 to 88 I can't remember the exact year. But he talked about how, you know, these quantum leaps of physical evolution, such as evolving from Homo erectus, erectus to Homo sapien, there is like a quantum jump. It was like a massive timeline jump. Massive timeline jump from Homo erectus to Homo sapien. Almost as if a switch was turned on. And he would teach Alberto that we are in the process, we are in this transition to the next quantum leap of physical and consciousness evolution or mutation, whatever name you want to give this transformation that we're in the process of, that the switch is ready to be flipped. We've been building this up since the 80s, actually the 50s and 60s into the 80s was a acceleration, and then now 20, from 2012 to now was massive acceleration, and then this last solstice in 2018 was a major trigger point into the into the equinox and then where we're at here now into this full moon in Taurus, the full moon in Scorpio. In Scorpio, not, we're in Taurus right now in the zodiac. So he said we are shifting this next quantum leap of evolution is from Homo sapien to what he would call Homo luminous. Homo luminous is the new avatar, which is grounded into the 3D middle, you know, lower Dantian in the 3D foundation, the middle Dantian in fourth density. And then upper Dantian, the spirit gate, and, and 5D and beyond. And we're bringing those, we're merging them all together in the middle. 
all three, the trinity, the threefold flame merges together into the center, into that middle, into that still white, divine, magnetic light at the middle, at the center of all things, which is everywhere. That's why there is no separation. So we are in the process of manifesting and transforming our avatar, our vessel from Homo sapien, from the Sa, to the luminous, the Homo luminous light body, to the luminous body. So we're all in this together. I want to thank each and every one for your light, for your truth, for your love, for sharing your experiences. Leave what you're feeling in the comments below these videos. It helps other light workers and star seeds through this transition and know they're not alone in what they're experiencing, feeling, and going through in these challenging times. At times challenging, at times beautiful and blissful and joyful. So try to live in your joy, find that bliss within your center, that still white center is the original mind, the the unknowable, the that which is beyond duality, beyond the unknown and the known, beyond the nawal and the tonal, beyond the emptiness and form, and keep going through and through and through until you return home, return om. Return to the self, return to the source, return to the divine that is your original mind, the unborn mind. I'd also like to thank all of you that have joined, are joining me and connecting on this mission for the blueprint of the healing centers around the globe. So I met with a, a friend today that spent the last several weeks in Nepal learning how to build the earth domes. So he's going to be a great asset going forward on building the sustainable buildings, which I'll probably be doing some videos with him shortly on what he learned and his experiences over in Nepal. And I'd like to thank all of you that are, have joined me in the CBD business to help raise funds for the research and development of the first healing retreat center, potentially, in Ecuador, in a place called Bilcabamba, in southern Ecuador, in the foothills of the Andes. That would be like the root chakra of the you know, of the central channel of the earth that's rising up through the Andes Mountains from Ecuador through Peru into Chile along the western coast of South America. The spirit of the condor flies. So the eagle is flying with the condor. That's where we're bri bridging the two worlds together, the north and the south. The eagle and the condor are going to fly together to help all of humanity as a collective through the shift into the new earth, into the golden age, into this transition of Homo Luminous. So if you'd like to join us and learn more about the opportunity to help build a business and help fund our endeavors to build this healing retreat, you can go to cbdpeaceoil.com. I'll put the link in the description below. You can join one of our team members. You'll go to uh, that link, will take you to our funnel for someone on our team, someone in, in our uh, organization. And you can become a distributor for the, a high quality organic non-GMO CBD oil that many people are getting great benefits from. So I'm going to end this here on 
I'm just going to resonate the hue, H-U-E, the hue which is the light, the colors, the, the rainbow, of, and, and it's a sound of creator, great spirit. It's a frequency that can lift your spirit. So you can join me in this mantra. So take a deep breath. Put your awareness in the heart center. Release, let go, release, let go, release, let go. Blessings in the light, much love to you all. Namaste.